years ago that a skinny kid nobody thought much of uh, <coughs> came here to this university uh, to study. He had spent time in the nonprofit world as a, an organizer, as a field organizer. Marshall Gans would have understood that so well. Um, but he really hadn't had much leadership experience. He came here to Harvard. He studied for three years. Uh, he did have his first big leadership experience here at Harvard. Uh, it launched him in his life. Uh, he went on to, to run a voter project uh, in which he had some 10 people working for him along with 700 volunteers. He had another major leadership project. And from that, uh, he went on in life and some 20 years later, uh, ran the most successful political campaign in our country's history probably, at least going back to John Kennedy. Well, what do we learn from the journey of a Barack Obama to leadership? What do we learn of a, from a Kennedy's uh, journey or a Mandela or a Schweitzer or Jane Addams or even or Jack Welsh? Uh, the course that I'm uh, trying to teach is an exploration of the questions of becoming a leader uh, and to uh, see if we can um, unearth uh, lessons for all of us. And this is a joint exploration. It's not just the teacher uh, holding forth, but really we try to draw from uh, those, uh, those who participate in the course. No leader, frankly, no, no course in this school can teach you to be a leader. There, you know, it's like an art course. You're not, an art course can't turn out a Matisse. And a leadership course is not gonna turn out you know, a wonderful, wonderful Barack Obama. Uh, a leadership course can help you on your journey. It can help you in self-understanding. It can help you learn the principles of leadership, and the rest is really up to you. Uh, in this course, we, uh, we start with questions of in, uh, inner, the inner journey, uh, persons, you know, what, what we can learn from others about that personal inner part of leadership, because leadership starts from within. And the second part of the course uh, deals with, uh, with interactions with others. Uh, unlike Brian, who, whom I think teaches a wonderful course, I do believe in cross-registration. I think it's really important to have uh, students from other parts of the university in the conversation. I hold spots open every semester for military veterans who are here, or they're, they're active duty uh, military, and I like to have students from the business school, the law school, the ed school, and the school of public health, uh, and indeed from MIT. Uh, even from MIT. Uh, we, we, we don't have very many spots, but I, think it, I just think it enriches the conversation to have a diversity. That's what you're going to deal with in the, in the world when you leave here. So that's part of it. Um, and uh, it, there are a lot of lectures, probably too many lectures. We'll have a number of visitors this year. But no, first and foremost, this is an exploration. It doesn't have final answers. Uh, rather, it tries to put forward some ideas and, and, and then allow you to build on them in your own journey. Thank you.